The immediate aftermath of an Israeli airstrike on a building in Khan Yunus in the southern Gaza Strip on Tuesday. AFP. The UK should suspend all weapons export licenses to Israel because there is a clear risk British arms may be used to violate international humanitarian law. Two organizations have warned the government. Palestinian human rights organization Al-Haq and the UK-based Global Legal Action Network made their case in a letter sent on Monday to Business and Trade Secretary Kemi Badenoch. Their call comes as an Israeli airstrike hit Al-Lali. Al-Arab Hospital in Gaza City where many had sheltered and sought treatment on Tuesday evening, killing at least 500 people. The 25-page letter lists a dozen Israeli violations of international humanitarian law committed over years, including the demolition of homes in the occupied West Bank and occupied East Jerusalem, the killing of protesters and journalists, and the 15-year siege of Gaza. But it says the Israeli response since the Hamas attack on 7 October represents very serious, widespread violence on a greater scale than anything witnessed by Gazans until now. This escalation very clearly justifies a suspension of arms sales, the letter says. Middle East I asked the Department of Business and Trade for comment but did not receive a response by time of publication. The UK government has granted weapons export licenses for the sale of a wide range of items in recent years including components for combat aircraft, military radars and targeting equipment and body armor. According to the Campaign Against Arms Trade, CAAT, British companies provide 15% of the components for the F-35 stealth combat aircraft which Israel is currently using to bomb Gaza. This challenge was already necessary before the current decimation of Gaza. Now it is even more urgent. Dear Blumenog, Glenn since 2016, CAD estimates that the contract for those components alone is worth over $409 million. The organizations which wrote to Badenoch say that all of the items sold to Israel are capable of being used in Israel's actions against Palestinians and, therefore, licenses for them should not be issued. Lawyers representing the two groups have given Badenoch until 30 October to respond to their letter after which they say their clients will consider issuing judicial review proceedings before the High Court. Dear Blumenog, a senior lawyer with Glan said, This challenge was already necessary before the current decimation of Gaza. Now it is even more urgent. States like the United Kingdom are emboldening the Israeli government's brutality especially when they actually supply them with the means to subjugate and kill Palestinians.